What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. Well, I hope everybody is doing well. I know I am. Happy married man over here. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to make a Bitcoin paper wallet. It's very, very simple. You don't even need a printer. You can write this stuff out. Uh, if you don't, if you do have a printer, great. It makes it a lot easier. Um, so you're going to want to go to this website, thebitaddress.org, up here. Make sure to type it in correctly and don't get a spoof website. Again, if you guys are depositing larger amounts or wanting to store larger amounts, everybody's opinion of that is different. Uh, for security reasons, your browser could be compromised with worms, malware, or whatever else. You're going to want to go ahead and download it from the GitHub site, which is right here. And then put it on a flash drive and then unzip it on a totally clean computer. Uh, but for today, for the tutorial, I'll just show you guys how to do this live on the website. So all we're going to do is just move it around, add some randomness into this, so there's no actual computer algorithm for somebody to hack and get everybody's Bitcoin secret keys and stuff, because there's a human randomness uh, implemented into it. Here we go. This is our private key. This this is what you don't get from using like Coinbase um, and some of the other places. They hold the private keys for you. You trust them with that. Um, this is your actual Bitcoin address. This is probably what you're used to seeing. Um, and this is the safest, best way to hold and store Bitcoin because we have the private key. All you need is a piece of paper. We can print this right now. Now you might ask, how do we put Bitcoin on this paper wallet or to this address? Any way you would normally send Bitcoin to any address. You know, just copy and paste this, go to Coinbase, and send you know, a tenth of a Bitcoin to this address, and that's how you would do it. Of course, I would suggest testing it if you're new. Um, don't send large amounts the first time. Now, let's say that you have a Bitcoin or a tenth of a Bitcoin on this address. You've already gone that, done that. You've A year has gone by, six months have gone by, or whatever, and you want to spend the money. So how would you do that? So what we would need to do is take this address right here, your Bitcoin actual address, Copy, paste it, scan it, however you want to do it. If I can just highlight what I need. No, oh, why are you doing that? I don't know, but okay, let's try it. Um, and then we're going to come over here. To a dummy account, guys. Don't worry about anything. Uh, it's just a test account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to blockchaininfo.com, create you a test account or an actual account. <laughs> For me, it's a test account. Um, and then you're going to want to go into settings and then go to addresses. And then you're going to want to import addresses. And now this is one I did before as my first initial test. I generated this one, came over here and then added it to BTC. Add more options. Let's see. So we should be able, here we go. We're going to port another address here. See how this does. Yeah, so we got everything. And we want to go ahead and click import. Okay, so if we just give them the actual address, all we can do is watch it. See, it's a watch only. Now, let's say we want to actually be able to spend the funds or get to the funds we have to give them the secret key so it's probably best to put you know increment amounts on these paper wallets because you have to uh, put it all into a blockchain info dot wallet something just like this so if you had one bitcoin all of it would go on here we'll go back to import See, that time we did the secret key, and there you go. 
so it's not watch only. Now we can actually, you know, use this address and actually spend it. So there you go, guys. That's it. That's all you have to do in order to make a paper Bitcoin wallet. You now have the ability to uh, use blockchain.info to spend the funds, uh, manage the paper wallet back and forth, although now you've given them your secret keys, so it's it's now more like Coinbase or something like that. But that's why I would say use smaller increments um, on the paper wallets because when you want to load it on a location like this or wherever it might be, uh, you're, it's going to get all loaded at one time. You don't have the ability to say, hey, I want to put half of what's on this paper wallet. Uh, you have to put all of it in one shot. And there's some more information down here. Um, spending your Bitcoins, you guys can read this. I'm sure it will help fill in some of the blanks that I might have missed. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. See ya.